India is gearing up to celebrate the 75th Republic Day. A happy Republic Day to all our viewers joining us. The preparations for celebrations are underway nationwide as the focus turns now to Kartavipath in New Delhi where impressive parades <coughs> featuring the Indian Army, Navy, Air Force, Police and Paramilitary will unfold. A contingent of the French Armed Forces is all set to march alongside Indian troops and French Rafals will also grace the skies of New Delhi in the fly past. The parade will commence from Vijay Chowk till Kartavipath and the venue has been prepared to accommodate approximately 77,000 people out of which 42,000 will remain reserved for the general public. Well, this morning uh, we are uh, learning that uh, Tamil Nadu's governor R. N. Ravi along with Chief Minister M. K. Stalin have unfurled the national flag during the 75th Republic Day celebrations in Chennai. Uh, meanwhile, in other parts of the country as well, uh, Republic Day celebrations have commenced. This year, India is gearing up for a momentous platinum celebration of the country's Republic Day. With an enthralling showcase of its military prowess and rich cultural heritage at the majestic Kartavyapath in the national capital, for the first time ever, an all-women tri-service contingent will be marching down the Kartavyapath. Women's pilots will also enthrall the audience during the Indian Air Force's fly-past, representing Nari Shakti. The contingents of the Central Armed Police Forces will also consist of only women personnel, the parade will be heralded by over 100 women artists playing Indian musical instruments as well. My colleague Brian spoke with two female pilots who will be participating in the fly pass today. Uh, I'm Flight Lieutenant Ananya Sharma. I belong to Delhi. I was commissioned in the fighter stream of the flying branch in uh, December 2021. Currently, I'm flying the Su-30 aircraft. And uh, I'll ask you the same question again. Are you excited? Uh, what are you feeling? Uh, is there any butterflies or how, how excited are you? I'm extremely honoured and I'm filled with pride and I'm definitely excited to be representing the Indian Air Force in the Republic Day Tableau. It is a first experience for me to be participating in the Republic Day as well. So, yeah, like you said, it's the first time. So my very last question to you would be, uh, how, what can we expect or what is the anticipation for uh, people who will be watching? You can uh, expect the ever-reaching, basically, uh, what the Indian Air Force is trying to portray, Saksham, Sashakt and Atmanirbhar. So, we'll be representing that with the tableau. Other than that, uh, you can expect the marching contingent to be there in full josh to become the best contingent in the Republic Day. And there'll be fly past also as mentioned in the briefing. So there'll be a display of multiple fighter aircraft, which will be displaying the role of Indian Air Force. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you so much. Uh, so you've heard the flight lieutenant and even the flight uh, flying officers speaking to NewsX exclusively, where they shared their views and their excitement towards this. This is me, Brian Anthony Thomas, signing over with camera person of this for NewsX Delhi. Ahead of the Republic Day, we are joined with a flying officer and a flying lieutenant. Uh, firstly, ma'am, welcome to NewsX and if you can introduce yourself to the viewers. Uh, good morning, I'm Flying Officer Asma Sheikh. I hail from Pune, Maharashtra. I was commissioned in the fighter stream of the flying branch of the Indian Air Force in June 2022. And uh, I feel extremely grateful and honoured to be a part of the uh, Republic Day Parade Indian Air Force Tableau 2024. So, ma'am, my very first question is what can we expect? What is the anticipation? And uh, we also see a model here. Uh, so if you can explain our viewers what exactly are we anticipating or what exactly can we expect? This year uh, in the Republic Day uh, Parade, you will see a great portrait of uh, women in the forces. As far as the uh, tableau is concerned, the theme is uh, Saksham, Sashak and Atmanirbhar, which means uh, potent, powerful and self-reliant. Let me to explain. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the tableau consists of uh, three sections. The rare most section, as you can see, is Saksham, which means potent. Uh, it shows the C-130 aircraft of the Indian Air Force. It uh, signifies our uh, effort uh, during Operation Kaveri in 2023, in which the C-130 aircraft was uh, used to rescue Indian and foreign nationals from Sudan during the Sudan conflict. Uh, the aircraft was used to uh, rescue more than 3,800 nationals during the conflict. The centre portion uh, signifies uh, Sashakt, which means powerful. There are two uh, fighter aircraft, Tejas and Su-30, which are being shown over the Indian Ocean region, which shows that fighter aircraft are not only uh, deployed over land, but over sea as well. You will see a GSAT-7 Alpha satellite, which shows that the Indian Air Force has its operations spread out, uh, not only in uh, air, but uh, we have reached the space as well. Two women uh, aircrew in full uh, flying gear symbolizes Indian Air Force's uh, 
advancement towards nari shakti or women empowerment the frontmost portion is uh, atmanirbhar which means self reliant which shows one uh, c295 aircraft which we have inducted from spain subsequently the aircraft will be uh, manufactured indigenously in india and ma'am we are also seeing a lot of women officers also uh, right now there's uh, an increase in women officers so uh, do you think uh, i mean is there a difference or do you see uh, that you're getting that you credit that you are supposed to get in this uh, uh, in this world uh, to begin with i would say that there is no different credit that uh, anybody should be getting for that matter since we are given equal opportunities we have equal uh, platforms to portray uh, our flying capabilities and who we are as officers i don't think any special credit uh, should be given to anybody for that matter as far as the training is concerned it is equal training for both men and women and we are trained for the same and very last question are you excited for uh, this this very d day that's going to happen uh, definitely excited and i'm looking forward to putting up a good show thank you ma'am thank you so thank much you. Brian Thomas is joining us live uh, for more details on this story Brian a uh, women power uh, all set to be uh, a big uh, you know part of this year's parade uh, take us through uh, you know what the new uh, focus is on the new theme on nari shakti which will be showcased today and how it will be showcased Brian Well Uday you know before uh, we get into that uh, I'd like to show you the visuals of the place you know this is the very ito and you can actually see that the entire places have been gotten off and also you can see that and understand that the vehicle movements have been reduced uh, and apart from that as well you know this is the on route where the parade will also commence and today that uh, this time now you know this venue will the venue that, that's going to happen will accommodate 77000 people and also the the theme likely to be vix uh, to you know likely to uh, echo sentiments of vixit bharat and also you you know emphasize on india's essential quality as a democracy as well and this is the first time where all women tri services group um, are also to be part of the parade for the first time and you can actually see that on all, all women tri services group will also partake in the republic day parade for the first time and the group will, is also comprising of women troops from the army's military police force personnel and even two service and this historic contingent will also include you know women troops uh, who will um, you know uh, who will be there to to just you know make this event grander than uh, uh, ever before we have earlier also spoken to women officers uh, flight lieutenant and even flight officer who will be you know flying and how elated they are and how proud they are of you know uh, uh, being a part of this this grand event that's going to commence in just in about an hour now 10:30 is the time when it's going to take place and you know where we are standing this is an on route to the place that will um you know uh, will will feature or will see something grand happening something historic happening this year yes sir colonel sanjit sirohi a defense expert also joins us now live uh, colonel sirohi uh, your thoughts uh, on republic day your message to countrymen on this occasion and uh, uh, what are you keenly uh, waiting to see in the republic day parade which very shortly will begin Today, good morning to you and i want to congratulate and compliment and good wishes to our countrymen on our 75th uh, republic day and i am excited about it because i remember 52 years back i marched on the same uh, kartavya path that time it was known as raj path and the feeling i had that time i have got i have the same feeling today also and it is so nice and it is so i am so proud that at that point of time the 100% of the equipment that mass on the raj path and now after 52 years we are atam nirbhar and our 70 to 80% of the equipment which will be moving on the kartavya path has been produced in india it is a great day for us and it is a great moment for all of us that we have become atam nirbhar or self sufficient on our as far as the military equipment is concerned and it is a great day for us and it is a great day for the country comrade gj singh a defense expert also is with us uh, on the broadcast comrade singh uh, uh, we uh, your message to countrymen on republic day as we build up to the uh, parade uh, beginning also comrade gj singh your uh, thoughts on the choice of chief guest uh, in the french president emmanuel macron speaks a lot about where india france ties are stand currently and where they headed a uh, good morning uh, to you today and a very happy republic day to all my viewers uh, i would say that uh, uh, the 
I'm experiencing a absolutely renewed emotion uh, of uh, being an Indian because uh, I feel that this uh, Republic Day is a historic day, especially after uh, uh, the restoration of the oldest symbol that we had in a country uh, to represent our Indian civilization. Uh, that almost after half a millennium, about 500 years, has been restored again. Uh, so I personally feel that this is uh, a landmark and this is a uh, absolutely a new uh, era that has begun uh, because uh, the uh, resurrection of the ancient symbol uh, of our civilization was very important to us. And uh, this... Uh, uh, Republic Day is going to give a new direction for new India now for all the years to come. And uh, uh, with the induction of uh, the latest uh, art of the uh, you know, uh, state um, aircraft that we have now, especially the uh, Rafales that we have bought from uh, France, I feel that uh, we are heading towards uh, to a superpower, uh, a global uh, you know, power which will be recognized because, as I see from the naval point of view, our involvement uh, in the global affairs uh, are increasing. Uh, mm -hmm. When I look uh, at the Arabian Sea, the Indian Ocean region, the kind of patrolling that we are doing uh, in the Gulf of uh, Aden uh, from the piracy and recognition uh, is something that uh, needs to be underlined. And uh, especially after uh, this, uh, you know, new day, uh, Navy Day that we celebrated uh, last year, uh, the the uh, pilots uh, of Navy being uh, based on the new ensign of Chhatrapati Shivaji Maharaj uh, also, uh, you know, brings back the glory that we once uh, had in our country. So uh, looking at all of these things, uh, I feel that, uh, uh, as it was very rightly said in the cabinet resolution, that the country's uh, body was uh, freed in 1947, but the soul has been restored uh, and uh, uh, consecrated. Uh, you know, this 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 uh, kind of uh, you know uh, emotions that I feel. I feel that uh, this is uh, something that is absolutely historic. So from the history point of view, I find that uh, this is a, a turning point uh, in our uh, development for future. And um, as we will see uh, uh, in the parade today, that uh, display of uh, you know power projection uh, that we will have uh, with the Navy, Air Force, um, Army uh, displaying their military muscle, um, uh, that will really, uh, you know, give us a new sense of pride, a uh, new sense of, uh, you know, being an Indian. And I think uh, uh, th this is uh, absolutely uh, going to act as a catalyst uh, for heralding uh, India into a new era. S looking out and, uh, you know, contemplating all of these things, I feel that uh, this is a very special uh, public day. For more such videos, subscribe to the NewsX YouTube channel, hit the bell icon.